Welcome back to another retro game. And it's a classic. I'd say it's probably one of mine and uh, Jelly's favorites. Oh, it's my favorite game of all time. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, Mega Man X is just... I mean, hands down, it's my favorite game ever made. Really? Yeah. Now, you know, every time we play a different game, though, you're like, yeah, it's... No, no, Mega Man X is always consistent. So I have, like, a top ten where it's like, yeah, that's one of my favorites. I'll only say one of my favorites. I won't say my favorites. So this is the this number is one. This is my favorite game of all time. Really? Yep. You know, honestly, I'm kind of there, too. But I'm torn between it and Crown Trigger. Because I have, like, a top ten. Well, and Legends of Zelda. Uh, I actually Legends of Zelda. Oh, wow. not, you want me to name my top ten favorite games? I could. I don't know. Might as well keep you talking because maybe you'll actually get hit. <laughs> um, Metal Gear Solid 1. Oh, yeah. Um, what else? Link to the Past. Super Metroid. Chrono Trigger, of course. Um, can't. <laughs> um, Shenmue, but I'm not sure which one I like more. But that's also good. Sh shame you don't see too many more Shenmue games. Well, it's definitely not for everyone. Yeah, it, I played it. I don't think it gel well with the modern gamer at all. I played it. I got into it. I just wish you know I had more time to play it. And unfortunately, I don't have a copy anymore. Did I mention Half Life? No, you didn't. Half Life. No, I don't think you did. I like uh, the original a little more. I know everyone loves two. Two's a damn good game, but. Yeah, those will probably be my favorite games ever made. Really? My fav my two favorite gaming series, I think I told you, but you know, Mega Man and Metal Gear Solid. There's only a few Mega Man games I don't like. Um, yeah. I mean, I grew up playing Mega Man and Mario, but... Oh, I was gonna... I was, I was, oh yeah, Mario 3! I was gonna say, surprise, Mario Super wasn't Super Mario Brothers 3 is also in my top 10. I fucking love that game. Yeah, it's like Legends of Zelda. Um, I don't know, Link to the Past, it, it, it's a good game, and it is one of my favorites. But it's my favorite, hands down. I don't know why, but I would have to say Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask is up there. And I know how much you dislike Majora's Mask. Um, still a damn good game. Ocarina of Time, I think one of the reasons why I like it is because it has the same layout as... Link to the Past in 3D World. I, I, that's one of the things that actually makes that game big time. God, the soundtrack's so cool. <laughs> the music is really what makes the Mega Man X games. Actually, all Mega Man games, for the most part, have a really good soundtrack. People have already covered in great detail why this game is so good. I, I mean, Eagle Raptor Sequelitis video probably takes the cake, but this game really does things so well that a lot of even Capcom games don't do it more. Yeah. Oh. oh. I don't like how they made it so you have to beat him in Maverick Hunter X. I mean, you don't beat him in that technically, yeah. but he has a light bar. So. Yeah, Maverick Hunter X is the PSP port. And... I think that this works better where you can't stop him because it emphasizes just how weak you are. Yeah, you really. Boba Fett was never this good in his own. Bo Boba board. Fett. Uh. Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I didn't think he could kill you! Well, usually if you die, it's when you run into him. I've never seen him. Did you see he jumped over me? Wow! I Wow, took that Boba Fett jab there a little personally, did you, Vile? Dick. Dude, Ooh. I'm kind of like flabbergasted. I can't believe... Oh, I can believe it. I can't believe you actually died on the first stage. That's how awesome More or less been is. killed by... That's how awesome this game is. It makes uh, this Boba up. Fett, Phallic reference cannon. I don't know. What? Well, Mavic Hunter X also made um, Vile more independent, which I mean, that's kind of a cool thing, but it was a reboot too, so they could do whatever they wanted, but I kind of liked it better when he, he was crazy, but he still was loyal to Sigma. Yeah. yeah. That well, just might be the hardcore fan raging. Now take this. We'll be here for hours. Wow. I'll kill you over here. You worthless piece of scrap metal. 
Did you think you could defeat me? <laughs> Call me Violet again, will ya? I'm Boba Fett, you son of a... What? Ow! Oh boy, it's the most overrated character in existence. Oh wow. Oh, That's good. Moves on this game. That's gonna start some controversy right there. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. You don't sound like Domo Kashu anymore. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is Boba Fett after all. Fans can't accept the Sarlacc hate him. <laughs> Remember, Disney owns us now. Wait, you haven't reached your full power yet. Whoa. You may even be at least powerful as I am. What a cool guy. I'll scout ahead. <laughs> Collect well, that, much information. See, that's that's where the that's how we got his SA rank, scouting around. Scouting around, that's all your good. Scouting or around. scouting ahead. I'll meet up with you. Why am I a surfer out of I'll See you later. So is my turn? X. I won't steal your series from you. I promise. I promise. I'm your bud. I won't take over, man. I won't become the media darling. See what happens. I will become the media darling. Oh, what we do in Mega Man games is we swap off every turn. We used to swap off every death, too, but now we just swap off every stage. Or every time you get a complete death. We don't even do that anymore. Honestly, I don't even remember the last time we actually got a game over in this game. Well, I mean in Mega Man in general, when we do Mega Man runs. Well, Mega Man is different. Is a totally different ball Because we used to gather, like, four friends and all swap around. Like, okay, you die, your turn, you die. Now we do it. Like, you play a stage. Go. Yeah, Mega Man X is, um... Just the whole series, you know, I can actually do the series. Mega Man, I have a lot, I have a more difficult time uh, playing. Mo Ow. <laughs> um, mostly because. Oh, you mean classic? The original. Yeah, the classic Mega Man, mostly because. Um, just get that. Because the, the mobility. mobility is completely different. Well, you actually start off similar to classic Mega Man in this. I mean, you move faster. Yeah, but, but the thing is, it's like, you don't. Sigma's fine. Yeah, fucking bunnies. It's not like that forever. And as you can see, I'm getting hit. But then once I get the dashing and stuff, it's a lot so different for me. What? Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, I mean, the consensus is that X was the harder series. Um, that I would not necessarily agree with. It, because, I mean... Well, it, here's the well, thing, though. Well, he, he, here, here's a great example. People say, like, Dark Souls is difficult. I didn't find it difficult, but then again, I played the shit out of it. You know, I played the X series a lot more. That's kind more. of where I was going. Towards. Yeah, I played the X series a lot more than I played regular Mega Man. It could be because you never actually played the classic until like ten years ago. Um, you, know, you you grew up playing X. Well, the most of the time I played regular Mega Man was actually on Game Boy. Are you played the Game Boy Mega Man? Yeah, I played the Game Boy Mega Man. You should be perfect at this. Um, I know. I know I said I played them. Oh. Um, th Are you skipping Dr. Light's cutscene? Okay, is this like, yeah, you know. X, I don't look like that. X, get in, get in the capsule. It's not Hadoken, but. Yeah, he also says stuff about not living. Like, oh, I wanted you to be peaceful, but now you're not. So. Unfortunately, shit happens. No, but that's kind of where I was going towards. I think that you think that the classic series is harder because. You, you really don't... You haven't played it as, as often as you played this series. Damn straight, You're yeah. more familiar with the X series. I mean, hell, one of my favorite... Um, one of my favorite games is actually Mega Man X6. And while... Well, I was going to mention that. Yeah, it is one of the most difficult Mega Man games stage-wise. Boss-wise, it's a pushover. Well, if you play on extreme mode. Until you get to the very end. Um, but, uh, let's... Let's talk about the first Mega Man X game you played. Yours was X6, actually. Actually, it was X6. A mutual friend got you hooked on that one. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, yeah, that's actually what it was. I want to say it was you. You were the one that started getting us hooked on the Well, Mega I got everyone in general, but then that friend got you hooked on yeah. X6 in general. And X6, oh, it's just... I mean, X6 is me amongst the fans, but... It's not a bad thing. Well, cool. after I became, after I like really started getting into the whole Mega Man and the lore thing, I can see why it is an abomination like no other. Um, mostly because it's incomplete. It feels rushed and incomplete and inconsistent. Yeah, we'll address it when we ever get to X6. Oh, I'm sure we'll get to X6. I mean, we can beat all these games in, say, about like an hour or two. Well, the, yeah. 
X6, um, if you go to play the stages, unless, the, my best advice is don't worry about getting hit. The easiest way to get through those stages is to literally just get hit. <laughs> you once famously said on this stage, it's so me. No, no, no. <laughs> I think also, you once famously said, if you die on Chill Penguin, go kill yourself. I never said that. <laughs> and I, and no. we watch people play this and lose, and I always just look at his reaction, because he said it multiple times. No, and I didn't. He said, if you lose on Chill Penguin, just give up on life. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know you said it. I mean, yeah, he's kind of easy, but, I mean, for a beginner. I he, never. You did say no, it. Don't I was play never that guys. harsh. Yeah, like if you lose on Chill Penguin, just go kill yourself. No. They did buff him in Maverick Hunter, but... Now, if you lose on Commander Yamark in Mega Man X6, <laughs> I wouldn't say... Oh, you dick. I wouldn't say go kill yourself, but <laughs> yeah. you need help. You need a lot more help than a little practice. Oh, yeah, speaking of Yamark, uh... Oh, wow. We, uh... We did the extreme run. No armored X, like idiots. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Extreme Buster mode only, even. Extreme mode makes it so, uh, you, uh... Everything's harder. Well, the bosses also get new, sort of new attacks. They, like, get desperation mode attacks when their health's at 50%. Yeah. They, they spice things up, they're more random. Yeah, Mark's exactly the same. In fact, we waited to fight him a little later, because in X6, the boss's health... We tried increased. to let him kill us. I was, I was waiting to kill him, and, and he, Commander was just like, Dude, just, just end it! Just end it already! I'm like, no, I, I feel <laughs> bad. I want to see him do a new attack. He's like, dude, just end it. Just end it. He did nothing. He just, he just uh, stood there. It was pretty pathetic. It really was. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mark's probably the easiest guy in the series. Hell, if you go up, even if you use Zero, which is the most OP character in Mega Man X6. Yeah, all the armors don't even compare. The oh god, here got a clue. Oh yeah, well, you, wanted... you got. I knew you did that too low. <laughs> Come on, man, you're better than this. You know what? You're right. I told you, gotta quit. <laughs> Redo. <laughs> Redo. Got hit. Such got hit. Got to quit. Zero is the most OP character. I mean, in X in X6, even unarmored X or unarmored X, ultimate X. armor X, uh, when you use the code, is you know it, it's he's barely stronger than Zero is because you can just run up to, uh, to any of the bosses with Zero and just press his uh, Z Buster, the triangle button, and just blast him. You know, Commander Yamark takes five hit. And Zero was actually my favorite character when I played X6, but then when I played him in X5, you know, when I played him in, you know, I played, started with the first one here, X1, and I'm like, wow, X is really awesome. And I, more and more I play, I'm like, wow, they really tried to steal the spotlight, it feels like. I didn't like it. Here, you know, here's Jelly just showing off. Well, I, oh, I won't get hit. No, I, I, I wanted to, I wanted to hear the music, I love the music. Okay. They really didn't do this this uh, song, the stage theme, justice in uh, Maverick Hunter X. Mm -hmm. A lot of the music in uh, Maverick Hunter. I'm just not fond of how it was remixed. Um, there's a couple songs I really did like. I did like the uh, intro fortress stage. That oh was, yeah, the first sequence. That yeah. was a fairly fairly decent one. The fourth one was also better too. Um, Flame Mammoth. I really like the Flame Mammoth re remix. Um, Boomerang, uh, Boomer Quanger, it's Boomerang Quanger in Maverick Hunter X if I remember right. 
Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's why I keep calling it Boomerang. There's Boomer playing right here. Oh, dude, I have that on, a, uh, uh, what do you call it? The PSTV, the Vita console thing. Uh-huh. We could do a run of Marathon in the future, but I mean, I, I really... It's not a bad game, but I just... It's, I would say it's a lot easier. Um, <laughs> uh, especially the final boss. It, it's so much easier in Maverick Hunter X. Uh, it's actually embarrassing because I was like, oh yeah, I can beat the original X, no, no problem. Uh, after playing Maverick Hunter, and I go and try it, and Sigma literally just still hands your ass to me. He's just really crazy. No hit Nancy. <laughs> Yeah, you play this a lot, so, I mean... I remember in high school, we are all talking about Super Smash Brothers Brawl and stuff like that, and, and Melee, and you are talking about this. And it's like, what the hell is Mega Man? Mega Man? No, that was middle school. You know, actually, middle well, school was that time period. High school was weak. Yeah, yeah, that's like good. One, one of the first... Think about it, one of the first Mega Man games I actually played was Mega Man Legends. Oh, really? Mega Man Legends? I, um, I rented it, and I'm like, I have to get this game. And so I remember scouring... Well, you got it on 64, don't you? Yeah, yeah, scouring every Walmart for a copy of it. It was such a pain in the ass to find. I still have that copy, too. Too bad I don't have a working 64. I'm yeah. trying to remedy that, but... <laughs> easier said than done. You know, it's like... This is why I don't lend systems to people. I think... I lent it to somebody, and they brought it back. And they brought it back, back in a big white plastic bag Quit. and I think my dad thought it was garbage and threw it out <laughs> you know, I was thinking about that well I gave Mega Man 8 to a friend as you know <laughs> and for two months I, I was like hey well, can I have my game back <laughs> and finally I'm like hey can I have my game back and you're like and he was like uh, I'm still playing it you're like dude you're still playing it you smashed it a month ago and I was like what <laughs> find the piece and the disc in pieces, and there's some yeah. white Meg Man 8 on the PlayStation. On I don't know what that white gooey shit was, and I don't want to know. But I think it was. I oh think man, he was, was trying to put pancake syrup on it. I was so pissed. Well. Dude. Uh, That's why I'm also kind of stingy about giving stuff. See, we got the helmet, and we got the boots. Yeah, right? This is where I stay. I was actually recording a run on this on uh, my YouTube channel, but I lost half the video, so I stopped. But maybe I'll finish it. Yeah. Hey, are you finishing it right now? I mean, I play this game all the time. I mean, shit, we could we could do like 12 videos and we could talk about something different every time in this game. I mean, the Mega Man X series, even though I do love it, I can admit its quality varies. Seems there's, yes. there's really only two really good titles. X5 is my second favorite X game, but I can acknowledge that X4 is the better. Um, my biggest flaw with X4 is the lack of story on one side. Well, then you must not like Resident Evil. It's the same scenario. Why? The, where uh, one character doesn't exist in the other story. Oh, well, not... No, 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 no. X doesn't have a story in Mega Man X4. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's true. His story is there, just told in text rather than... It's well, like he doesn't have any cutscenes and stuff like well, that. Well, he has one with Double, but he's not even in it. Well, he's in he, he talks. I think he's on the screen or something like that. No more transmissions. I was absolutely necessary. Me, 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 me. I go, man, right? Yeah. Well, oh my gosh. Yeah, if we ever do a Mega Man 8 run, oh my god, we're going to have a lot of fun doing that commentary. Oh, they're releasing that classic collection, but if we want to play 7, we probably have to play it on the Wii or emulator. No. It's not included in that collection. I always prefer doing. I don't really that like that either, yeah. Yeah, you know, holding the game. You know, it's like the same thing with digital. I, I like the physical copy more. I mean, if there's no choice, like, for example, if we want to play a superhero game, odds are you're going to have to emulate it. Well, it's like, you know, it's like... Because there's no way to get them. Yeah, well, you know, going back to the whole, you know, I'd rather have the physical copy. Oopsie. But it's like... Yeah, don't you laugh at me. I was laughing too. Oh, you dick! <laughs> oh! Okay. Um, but what I was saying was, if you, oh, dang, I that up. if you, Ko Koei, or Konami actually just proved this, um, if you, uh, you know, they can remove it anytime they fucking want to. And, there we go. and it's just really, really, really stupid. God, why did they go and do that? 
I'm sorry, I'm trying to focus and talk at the same time. That's why I got hit, and I'm gonna cry. Well, I'm a wee just kidding. Got hit and restart! To be honest with me in this game, like I say, I play a lot of me the Mega Man's, like I play Mega Man X6, and use the invincibility frames to get through the whole stage. That That's literally it. <laughs> Because some of them are really difficult. Some of those stages are just god awful. Well, I mean, if I were to rate each of the games, though, going back to what I was trying to say, I do this part without getting hit. I like to show off. Oh, yeah. But, uh, um, two of the X games, really, I know you, you were, you didn't complain, you complained a little bit about X6 and, or X4 in regards to the story, but they're still fundamentally great games, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. X, I mean, X5 and X2, I put them on a scare, I scale. I did. Right. <laughs> like, right below it, you know? They're good games, but they have flaws that don't make them as good. X3 and X6... They're not bad by any sort of that metric, but they're not... They're lacking the luster that the other ones had. They're just merely above average. And, and this game's probably one of the greatest action platformers ever made, so... Definitely. They've never reached the highs of X1 to this day. I know everyone loves X4, and some people like it more than this, but Oops. really... Got hit. This was the peak of the series, and that's sad. What did well, you think of X3? He, I was going to say, you can't really say this is the peak of the oh, series. Oh, I can. I think so. I don't think they've ever matched it. Quality. Well, it's because it's the it's, it's the start. Well, do other stages get affected by changes when you defeat a boss and do the other Xs? Um, I guess you could say technically X6, but it's so badly coded. Only a few of them, though. Not, well, true. That's true. Does the farther the, you get, the more the more the. Does nightmare. the game slowly ease you into with the stealth tutorial rather than forcing Alia to talk to you in the other games? Nope. Which only this one does. Yep. Well, I think uh, their idea was um, pretty much if you are playing X2, you already played X1. I but really... even so, the other X games force exposition on you with really boring cutscenes you can't skip. This game has a story, but it's it's bare bones and yet it's still engaging. Okay. I don't know. I could just be. Really no, I, I agree, but X2, it doesn't really have that many, much like... X2's problem... Scenes. My problem with X2's... Stages. Yes. Uh, it's that, too short. Yeah. You can beat Flame Stags in two minutes. I mean, like... Sure, your turn. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you that. And X2 was actually my favorite one. Um, until I played X1. Uh, my biggest thing with uh, X1 it, versus, say, X2... The music in the stages has a lot more punch, I feel. It, it, it really sets up a better mood. 